Hello everyone. I hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, we're going to start with uh, one decimal two arithmetic series today. Um, this is kind of a continuation of what we learned in one decimal one. There's going to be some new ideas, some new definitions, um, but they uh, one decimal one and one decimal two go hand in hand. So the first thing we're doing is we're going to define what an arithmetic series is. So an arithmetic series is a sum of terms that form an arithmetic sequence. So let's look at the investigation. Um, we're going to add the following series together. So we're going to add these numbers all up, and when we add them all up, we get 55. Okay? So we're going to determine an equation that's going to allow us to do that. You may see some patterns here. Um, what I look at, if you look at the first term and the last term, when we add those together, we get 11. If you look at the, um, the second last term and the second term, add those together, we get 11. So we see the little, uh, little patterns are happening here, okay? So um, one of the formulas that we use for an, finding the sum of an arithmetic uh, series is uh, the first one I'm going to show you is uh, similar to what I just talked about with the first and last term. So let's take a look. So the first term we know we have here is T1 equals T1 equals 1. The first term is 1. We also know that we have t the n, which is the general term, and we're going to general term for this, we'll pick as the last term, that's 10. It's your uh, last term here. And we also know obviously that there are 10 terms. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to Come up with a formula here for that. So, like I mentioned before, we have 1 and 10. All right, when we add those together, um, we get 11, which is interesting. Okay, so the formula is going to be the sum of n terms. So, in this case, it will be 10, root for 10. It's going to equal to n. All right, so that's the number of terms that you're going to have. And what you do is you take the first term in the series and you add the last term in the series and the two terms the first and the last they are going to be divided by two not n so you're going to take the t1 tn divided by two and then multiply by n at the end. So let's fill in our formula. So S, and we'll say for 10. So the sum of 10 terms in this arithmetic series is equal to, well, the number 10. And then we take one first term plus the last term, 10. Um, again, that's just a coincidence of the two 10s being there. And then we'll divide those two numbers here, just these two numbers here. By two. Oops, sorry about that. Now remember, this 10 uh, in front is a coefficient of the whole uh, item. It's the 1 plus 10 is being divided by 2. The 10 is a coefficient in front that you'll do at the, at the very end. All right. So that means that the sum, the sum of 10 terms in this sequence will be 10 multiply by 11 divided by 2 uh, which would be 10 multiplied by 5 decimal 5 which would be 55. So again we've added them up um, and we notice that yes the formula works for that. So this is our one of our formulas that we're going to use for finding an arithmetic series. So let's look, take a look in general what we've done so far. So um, there are three formulas that we use. Uh, so in general, there are going to be three formula that we will use to solve arithmetic uh, series problems. So the first one you're familiar with um, is uh, t to the n equals t to the 1 plus d bracket n minus 1. And we know this is uh, called the general 
term for an arithmetic sequence. So we know we can use this um, if we're looking for the uh, the final term, if we need to obtain that, um, to, any of those four. As long as we have three, we can find the four. And again, um, you may remember back when we had a two by two system, we needed to have two equations with two unknowns in order. So there's different ways in when we're going to use that as well. So then we're going to have the new formula. Um, we have this here, the sec, this is the one we did above, the uh, sum of uh, n terms is equal to n bracket t1 plus tn all divided by 2 closure bracket. And again, remember to multiply by n at the end that is outside the brackets. Um, just be careful with that. And when we use this when we uh, know the final term. So there's a, you'll see a formula at the bottom. We'll talk about that because we haven't saw that yet. But we're going to use this sum formula. We use this when we know t, uh, tn. So basically when we know that final term of the sequence or a term at some point in the sequence with respect to n. But uh, for the most part, it's normally when we have T1, or sorry, Tn, the general term for an arithmetic sequence. And when do we use the uh, this formula here? You'll notice the difference is now, I, I know there's some uh, different uh, aspects there, but this is when we know the difference and we know the uh, number of terms that we're looking for. So the difference in this one is we don't have Tn. So basically, in this one, we have to know D, right? Because in all of them, we had to know N and T1. You'll notice that we had to know N here, we had to know T1, and we had TN. So this is when we don't have the uh, the general term or the final term or a term that we're uh, trying to obtain. We don't have that. Um, and we do have the common difference, however. So when we, oops, sorry about that, when we know D, our common difference. So uh, these are just two formulas that we can use. Um, the only difference is, uh, is that we've substituted in this formula for um, Tn. That's all. So that's where the two end. Um, you don't need to know where that comes from, but I can show you if you're uh, interested. All right. Let's look at the first example. So example one says, determine the sum of the first 50 terms of an arithmetic series. So when we're looking for the first 50 terms in an arithmetic series, uh, let's write down what we have first. That, that's the starting point. Um, I, I feel like this is, the, this is really important that we write down what we know. So we know that n is equal to 50 because it asks for the first 50 terms. So n is equal to 50. We also know that the first term, t1, t1 is equal to 3. So the first term is equal to 3. We know the difference. The difference is 1 decimal 5. It's an arithmetic series, which means we have it comes from an arithmetic sequence. Um, and we can clearly see, again, you can check to make sure, but it's 4 decimal 5 subtract 3, which would be 1 decimal 5. 6 subtract 4 decimal 5, which would be 1 decimal 5. So we have a difference. And it's asking for the sum. So the sum of n terms is question. And of course the n is 50 in this particular case. So if we flip back to our formula, we do have a formula that only requires us to have the first term, uh, the n value, and the common difference, d. And that is that second formula right here. So I'm going to borrow that for a minute. And we have that uh, information there. So the sum of n terms, you'll notice it's going to be n we have, the first term we have, the difference we have, and n is used again, so it's used twice. So I'm going to recopy this, and what we're going to do is we're going to plug in what we know. So we know n, substitute n in, we know that's going to be 50. Uh, T1 brackets are extremely important here. So the first term we know is 3, so it's going to be 2 multiplied by 3. The common difference is 1 decimal 5, so we can put it in 5 in here. We know n is 50, so we'll plug 50 in, and again, it's all divided by 2. Again, I'm going to steal that again. I'm going to recopy it, and then I'm going to simplify. 
collect any like terms. So everything in the brackets here can be uh, put together first, but remember we got to do the brackets first. Well, follow the order of operations, that's important. So we know the 50 subtract 1 is, oops, sorry, 49. And the 2 times 3, we can do that uh, simultaneously because they're not affected. So we have 6 plus 1 is 5 times 4 is 9. Again, there's a number of steps you, you as you get used to these and um, you know you can skip steps along the way. The important part is here, remember, multiplication comes before addition. So you do not take the 1 decimal 5 and add the 6 first to get 7 decimal 5 and multiply by 49. This is not follow the order of operations. The 49 is multiplication. The 49 must be multiplied by the 1 decimal 5 before you can move any uh, further. So the first step here would be to multiply 49 by 1 decimal 5 and that would give you 73 decimal 5. And now you can add the two numbers together, the 6 and the 73 decimal 5, and you get 79 decimal 5. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to multiply that by um, 50 and then divide by 2, or you can divide by 2 first and then multiply by uh, 79. It's not going to make any difference. Um, uh, it's completely up to yourself. Copy. And then I'll multiply the, I'll take the 50 and divide it by the 2. Give that. So we end up with 50, or sorry, 25 multiplied by 79 dozen 5. So 50 divided by the 2 will simplify to 25. That's where the 25 comes from. That's why the denominator is now uh, gone. And then we have 25 multiplied by 79 decimal 5, and that would be 1987 decimal 5. All right, so what does, that, what, what does that number mean? That means if we were to write out all of these, the 51st terms of this arithmetic uh, series, we were to add them all together. When they add it together, they give us 19. My apologies for the bell. Um, and I was just finishing up, so uh, th that indeed, 1987 decimal 5, so 1987 decimal 5 is the sum of the first 50 terms in this arithmetic series. Uh, the next video, we will uh, we'll start with example number 2. So I hope uh, that was a good explanation. Um, remember, you're going to pick the formulas based on information you have, and I think that's really important to write down what you have here on the left hand side of your page. Write down what you know from the uh, the problem. I think that's really important and that allows us to figure out what formula we're going to need because we're at the end of this we're going to have a number of formulas and that's going to be based on the information we have from the question. Um, if there's any questions please uh, please ask me in class. We'll be working on some of the problems once we get through the examples. Uh, I hope you like the video and uh, if you have any questions, uh, please let me know. Any feedback, um, it's, it's greatly appreciated. Thank you, everybody.